This is Ed. We've challenged him to live like an astronaut. Do you think you could? You've just arrived on the ISS. You're a bit disorientated because your brain can't figure out which way is up and which way is down. But it's time to sleep. Astronauts have to strap themselves in so they don't sleep float around in microgravity. How do you think you'd sleep in space? You wake up on the ISS and it's time to exercise. You have to do this for two hours every day to prevent your muscle mass and bone density wasting away. Astronauts are also test subjects for important research. Ed is investigating asthma as part of the airway monitoring study. Now that Ed has worked up a sweat, he'll be expecting a shower. But there's no running water in space, so it's a pack of wet wipes for you, Ed. Next time, food. Could you eat like an astronaut? Ed's going to try. Astronauts are growing their own food on the ISS in preparation for future long-duration space missions. They do this in the vegetable production system, also known as veggie. Ed's grown some chilies. It's time for a taste test. Astronauts use tortillas a lot because they aren't crumbly like bread. Their food also comes in pouches, like this baby food we're going to make Ed eat. This is the perfect fuel for a spacewalk. Want to go for a walk? Not so fast. You've got to suit up and don't forget your nappy as you've got to stay out there for up to eight hours without a toilet break. Astronauts do experiments and fix things when they're on a spacewalk. Eight hours later. After all that work in your pressurized spacesuit, your gloved hands have had quite the workout. Time to float back in and relax. After 16 trips around the Earth in a day, astronauts do get time to wind down and relax. You could read a book, play some classical tunes, or maybe you need a fresh trim. That wraps up another day on the ISS. So, could you live like an astronaut?